IDN is basically an event that helps us to celebrate these things that make us want more, that make us work harder and go beyond the limits. It's an event where we share ideas, where we tell each other what we are working on, what we hope to do in the future. It's a place where we celebrate our passions. It's a place where we shine the light on ideas. An event where we share illuminating ideas. Welcome once again to the Maiden IDN event. Art is something that you must love. You need to reinvent yourself and move with the time because as a creative, if you don't do that, you'll get lost. I just leave you three things today. You need to be passionate, you need to be dedicated, and you need to reinvent yourself all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eugene, and today I am here to talk about the bigger picture, the illusions of the finish line, and the difficulty of being a success. There is no absolute success in this world. There's only constant and continuous progress. Or at least that's how I see it. And the difficult thing about being a success is that you always have to keep on being a success. You can't fake out of it once you get in there. You need to learn to appreciate the records you're making right now. Stick men. And I know we all had to draw stick men when we were younger. My classmates were all drawing perfect stick men. My teacher asked me, what have you drawn? My stick man looks like an ant carrying a football. Imagine how I felt. So basically the essence of the story is to tell you that there is no artist that is born. And art is generally just an element of expression. It expresses who you are. It's something to be free with. I personally specialize in animal art. According to World Health Organization, there are 7 billion people with disabilities around the world. And out of that, 75 million need wheelchairs on a daily basis. My team and I came up with a goal. And our goal was to provide hybrid wheelchair. That was a wheelchair that could run uh, on electricity and also manually. And then also, our goal was also to make the wheelchair low cost and source materials from Ghana. It is a company basically that, is, that produces scented candles and soap homemade from natural products. But why scented candles? Why scented soap? Basically we all have difficult days. I mean going to school is stressful, sometimes going to work it, it can be stressful, we have exams and all. So these candles being with natural products, they create this cozy atmosphere. You feel as you are at peace with the aroma, with all the scents of the essential oil used. So as you can see, these are the, the candle made are 100% natural. Like why machine learning? These industries out there that um, they use this technology, they use it every time they bring out solutions. They are mostly machine learning based solutions. Google uses it, IBM uses it. Microsoft uses it. Every time we hear about this growing field and everything, why? But what's the big deal about it? I mean, it's because it's, it's a skill of the future. I started with photography and I found passion with photography. And with the way the world is evolving, I can't just be a normal photographer. I have to do other things, like other things related to the media, like video coverage, documentary shooting, filmmaking, editing. So, I'm not just going to stop at photography. I'm going to go beyond photography. But then all these data we are collecting are geared towards certain goals. And those three main goals is that first of all, we want to be able to predict some of these injuries we were talking about earlier before they could even happen. So if you went to your gym and you're about to lift a certain weight, um, with the data that is being displayed to you, you can know beforehand whether or not the weight could harm you or not. And, prevent yourself from carrying that injury. So before you get into games, there are the people behind the games, the game developers. Why do people make games? People make games because, or well mostly, some people make games for money. But people make games to help others escape their problems. So my message to you is, don't take, if you don't want to take game development seriously, you can take it as a side hobby and maybe make $2.5 billion like the guy who created Minecraft. Or maybe you can make a game and help somebody escape their reality. Thank you. 
at every point in our lives, we have decisions to make. Irrespective of whatever decision we make, there will, there will be outcomes, there will be consequences. Each and every person has a choice to make, and it's up to you to decide. Will you make the right choice? Or would you make another choice and spend the rest of your time, which you know nothing about, living in regret? just for this little fraction of insignificant pleasure. In the world of now, people are changing the narrative. You can use a song to speak to a lot of people. So I'm here to just tell people that I'm telling my story through music. And you too, you can tell your own story. It doesn't even need to be from music. You can write. Some people here are drawing. I move from place to place just to get a taste of the people who want to see me. They want to see my face. I'm a king. I love to win. If I got a tweet, he be making the money. Honey, you know we love to win. I don't talk too much. I just sing. Hope you don't get stuck. You might stick. Every single person want to be on my ship. I hope you don't get stuck. You might stick. I move from the right to the left. Making all the money. When people see me, they see someone who is confident probably smart and definitely an incoming Goldman Sachs in 10, right? But then um, the other part people don't see is that before I came into this red circle, my palms were sweating and my knees were shaking and I had questioning thoughts, right? Desire is different. ACT is an implementation style school of it. They, they like to make you do things with what you know. They like to make you actually build stuff. But there's a desire aspect to it that we forget. If you don't actually want to do those things, you won't do it. So today, I'm just showing you what small desire did for me. I went to a point where I couldn't play one note on FL, to a point where now I can produce bangers. So, Basically, a satellite is a primary or a secondary object that orbits a much larger primary object. Okay, so we have two types of satellite: natural and artificial. So the natural, the moon, the stars, and the rest. And the artificial is what we human beings build to assist us to do other stuff. Okay? But these satellites are very expensive; they are very hard to build, and then you require a certain specific skill set to get in there. Okay? But then. There's no place for the students like us who don't have that thousands and billions of dollars. So in order to for, for us to get in there, we need something that is of cheaper alternative. And that's where our account starts coming. As he said, many people, especially when they think of Africa, they keep saying that what, we have problems, right? We have problems of poverty, hunger, corruption, blah, blah, blah. And so why should we even think about technology? And he made a point saying that, see, just as the world is you know, progressing in technology, we have to make sure that we are also doing the same to catch up. We shouldn't always be the last, right? Okay. And so I'm really proud that we have something on the Academic City campus that's you know, sort of contributing to what we can do as an African continent. It's like the Ideon is not about only your, your successes. Ideon is about your failures as well. Ideon is about what you feel to do or what you want to achieve. Ideon becomes everything and everyone is included. That's why this story is here. And next year, we want you to bring your failures, your successes, every story you have. Thank you.